Today's High Performance Podcast is brought to you by Josh Vegan Digital. It's the only place that you'll find our expansive resource library, every form, checklist, visual, and dialogue that you'll ever need to systemize your business. Available to edit in PDF to rapidly take your business to the next level. Welcome to High Performance, the podcast featuring Josh Vegan and Alexander Phillips. Alexander, I want to talk to you about, you know, some of the moments that people hit in their careers, and I kind of call it the moment of adversity. What do you do when adversity happens? All of a sudden, you're in a position that someone in your team makes a decision to leave. Something happens with your boss. Something happens inside the organization. What do you do um, ultimately when a deal falls over, when a sale falls over, when a listing falls over? When adversity happens inside of Alexander Phillips's world, what do you do to regroup and to turn that into an opportunity? Josh, I'm probably not the best person to ask because I just move on <laughs> and, and, and go uh, on to the well, next. Is that like, always the case though? Like, like it's sort of like – Do you remember it, when your first EA or PA le- left you? Yeah, it, it, luckily we're still friends. You know? <laughs> but I, I think it's those that that's where you lose. You told me this is yeah. you lose a whole week. Yes, like, like yeah. you know you got fifty two weeks in a year. There goes a week. Yeah, you know, like we, we lose listings every day. Like we, you know, we've appraised six hundred houses a year. We'd sell two hundred, two hundred. You know, sell don't sell. What, what happened to the other two hundred? They've gone with another agent. What, what can we do? You know, yes. we've done everything. So. Do, do I ponder and, you know, do I go, what could I have done better or do I call that v- vendor saying, you know, what, you know, can you send me a questionnaire what I could have done better? No, I just move on to the next and go, what other ball in the air do I have to find that next listing? And it actually drives me to be more, probably have more attention on the next one and to be, be like, you know, more aggressive on closing it out. So it actually helps you become better, I find. Like, you know, you miss, 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 you list, 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 you know, a whole lot more. So... I think where you, you know, it's, it's. I used to when I first started, like if I was down in the dumps, I'd go through my list of sales and go, "How did I meet that person? That person? That person? That person?" Go, okay, geez, that's a past client. That was an open home. That was an expired. Well, why don't I chase some expires and do some past client calls, and then start finding some more? Like the the, the thing is with this game is it's. You can get it, let it become emotional. You've got to be hard ass and move on. Do you think that too many people spend a lot of time in their head, you know, overthinking a situation, overthinking a certain person rather than just saying, hey, you know what, it is what it is and I've just got to find the opportunity that this strikes. You know what, I lost that listing. That gives me another 45 minutes in prospecting time today to find another one. Correct. Like, And, um, you, you know, it's about – I suppose it's about um, having that mindset that you've just got to go on to the next – and and not you know let, not let it get away from you. And if you look, work out the dollar amount you've list, then you work that into your dialogue you know, in your head. Like that's a hundred grand out the door. Well, I'm not going to let that happen again, am I? So, you know, if you've got if you're juggling enough, you're going to miss some. You know, does it make you more resilient? Yes. You know, do you care less? Probably that you've missed it. As long as you care enough that it keeps you motivated to get the next listings. Because I think sometimes what it can do, I look at some of the agents that we've sort of, I've seen them dwindle away over the years, is they sort of lost the the care and the passion for it, probably because they've missed so many and they just go, this is getting too hard. There's a great lesson too that the environments create the behaviours. So having other people around you in a team that are pacing is a really important part to keep you driving and, and maintain that momentum. So you can't afford to be off because other people in your team are expecting you to be on, right? Exactly. And I think that's – you've always got to be on. You know, be on, be alert, be fresh. You know, work out what are the factors that burn you out at the end of the year. Well, don't get up at 5 a.m., get up at 6, go for a walk, don't go to the gym. You know, pretty simple stuff that you adapt. Shrink your workout so you're working – eight hours a day, not 10, don't do appraisals after five o'clock. You know, do things that keep you energetic. That You, you know, something um, someone said to me the other day, you know, what what good people do, he said three things, but one of them one of them was they've always got something to look forward to. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've always that's got, Victor Frankel. Yeah, yeah. I've always got something, my, my holidays are things I look forward to and I'd love to just bring them forward because I've done everything I need to do. Yeah. And I've, I've got the resource, I can go, okay, stuff this, I'm going to fly out on the first, not on the fifth. Yeah. You know, let's, let's, get an extra five days of holiday. That to me is a driver to keep, you know, keep on. And it's amazing that you bring that up because Victor Frankl in a, in a man's search for meeting says there was three things. Number one, be really grateful for what you've got. Always have something to look forward to and realise that we're another day closer to all this being done. And when you use that as fuel for motivation, some incredible things can happen on the inside of your business. 